Hey everybody, my name is Stacy Cowan. I'm with TriPoint Refrigeration. Uh, today we are going to be installing a Swift sensor. Uh, these sensors over here, um, yeah, this one right here is actually just to monitor the temperature of this walk-in cooler for this customer. Uh, I believe this company makes over 30 different types of sensors, so whatever application you want to use it for, they got it. Um, let's go and show you the installation process or where we're going to mount everything at. All right, now this is the customer's walk-in cooler. Um, it's a really critical system. They need to make sure that it's maintaining temperature at all times. Uh, so let's walk in and I'll show you where we're going to install this sensor at. Um, these sensors are really easy to install. All you really need to do is make sure that when you mount that bowl, which is the thermostat for that sensor, it's not directly on the wall. You're going to need some kind of foam tape or insulation. So that way that sensor is not reading the box temperature, like the wall temperature, but also the room temperature. That's what you want. Um, we are going, or I'm going to install it right over here by the return side of this evaporator coil. Um, if you get that sensor too close to the door, it'll start sensing one every time that door is open. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick it right here zip tie it to this um, conduit, EMT, um, and it shouldn't get damaged, shouldn't, it stays out of the way. Now we're inside the walk-in cooler. Um, the one thing that I would take a picture of for your records is this model number and this HWIG, HWID, I'm sorry, um, which is actually on the front side of the sensor as well. Uh, this is how you're gonna find which sensor goes into what uh, box or equipment that you wanna monitor. So all I'm gonna do is pretty much use this uh, Gorilla Tape, stick it right here on the back, and then attach it to the wall. I can get. I have done these for a customer where they wanted the sensors on the exterior side of their freezers uh, just so when they're changing the batteries you know in seven years that it they don't have to be inside of the freezer so we'll just take that guy just like that and I got some zip ties where I can zip tie this up here and away from the wall. Uh, you will need some dikes, side cutters, whatever y'all uh, want to call them. There's a lot of different names for them actually. But right now all I'm doing is just sticking that sensor right on the wall. Zip, or zip tie in this sensor, the bulb, the thermistor, uh, right up here on this EMT out of the way. And we will put more zip ties on it and make it look nice. You gotta make it look good. Cut all the slack off your zip ties. Do not cut the sensor. And then there it is. Reading, reading ambient temperature, not reading on the wall. It's out of the way. Um, so that way nobody breaks your thermistor off the sensor. And if you hit the button, it's gonna start looking for that gateway. All right, now we're gonna start installing the gateway. I found a power supply up here. 
if you're in a metal building kind of like this one and if your sensor is pretty good ways 50 75 feet and you're in a metal building and you don't have very good cell phone service or anything like that um, the higher you install it the better it'll communicate with that sensor uh, so I found a good spot for it right over here um, just make sure you know if you don't hit any electrical when you're doing your uh, anchors uh, sheet rock anchors for this guy um, this I would recommend not just doing a double-sided um, gorilla tape or any kind of adhesive like that uh, anchor these guys down so that way they don't go anywhere um, once they're there you, you don't have to take them down so things I'm gonna be needing for this guy um, obviously is gonna be a drill impact anchors anchors come with a drill bit for the size of the anchor that you're using so this is what I'm gonna do is pretty much mount this guy where I know where it's at sweet oh, let me hang this somewhere out of the way Guess it's right there. All right. All I'm gonna do, I think I can actually move this wherever I want. Just like that. I'm working on my holes. And like I said earlier, if you hit a stud, go get you a, a wood screw if you're hitting a sheet metal stud, then go get you some self-tappers that'll attach to that sheet metal real good. Let me see what I hit. Nothing there. Cool. There it is. Anchors in place. Come back down. Grab your impact. The Phillips. And then we're good to install this gateway. I always feed my screw through there first so that way it makes it a little bit easier to hold and just screw this guy a little bit in there just enough so it won't fall on you then you can hold it up and get it ready for your second one just make sure you're not you know screwing down all the way where you break an ear off this guy and that's it Let me get a little bit more slack and we can do it something like that. Nope, ain't gonna go that way. There it is. All right, we got power to it. We got our antenna nice and secured, motor gateway secured. Um, we'll just let it sit there for about two minutes uh, and then you sit here and hold this button for about, I think, oh, I think one second. And I'll start trying to look for the Wi-Fi. All right, now it's looking for it. Um, it should turn blue, I believe. And then now we are able to go back to the customer. She can log into her account. She can look for this gateway, uh, which is your web address right here and here's the gateway ID. You wanna find that gateway ID right there, 
Uh, so that way you know that your internet is talking to this guy and this guy is gonna be looking for that sensor. Uh, you just push that button on the sensor and it'll start talking. Right now it's saying that we don't have any internet connection. Um, and also you don't always have to do this, uh, I guess via Wi-Fi. You can also hook it up to your ethernet. I, there's, there's so many options that you have with this guy. All right, let's scan this. Let's see. All right, now that we got the gateway installed, you will open up your Wi Fi settings on your phone, connect to the device. Um, if it says no internet connection, uh, pull out your phone and go to your camera, scan the QR code right here, and then it will bring you up to this page. And this is, and from this point, this is how you'll set up that guy to your Wi-Fi.